fucked up, dude. Well, since John is in here, let's see if, uh, how long we can go. Because I, I, he doesn't like to go late, because he lives far away. Just give me hope. I'll, I'll deal with it tomorrow, right, Bill? Okay. I'll get you home, man. I'm not, we, it might, it'll be tomorrow. We might be wrapped around a tree. We might end up walking. Yeah, shut the fuck up. But if that's... I think that's good team building. Yeah. Uh, just take Uber home. And, and you were just saying that, uh, you know, we're always catching up and... Yeah. You've got things to. I was just say that's how they get together. We we, we, we we don't have like a DUI story yet, though. But I never gotta have one. Ooh, no. Well, and doesn't that is it on your bucket list? I don't drive. How could I get a DUI unless I ride around with a bike? Is it on your bucket list to steal a car and no. then get a DUI? I, I'm not that. I'm not that uh, hardcore. <laughs> All right. Well, are we gonna start? Is the camera rolling? Yeah, it is. We're hey. good. Hey, how are you? I'm gonna do a little introduction. Hello and good evening to all of our fans, the hundreds of you out there in internet land, wherever you may be. Welcome to a very special edition Welcome. of hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Unfortunately, our friend Mr. John, Mr. Say Nothing, will not be with us. Uh, he had Hanukkah celebrations to attend, as this is the yeah. fifth night of Hanukkah. But in his place, we are once again joined by our very dear friend, Ross. And Ross, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. As, as a do, do you go by uh, Ross or Dino Bosco? I prefer Dino Bosco. Okay. Well, uh, Dino Bosco or Sir Dino or S just Dino? Sir Dino. Sir Dino, okay. Well, I'm just going to make is, a really... Is that Italian, Sir Dino? Sir Dino? Well, actually, my, my Italian name is Vosario. Vosario. Hmm, that sounds um, that sounds like more uh, African to me. It was, it was actually a pizza place in Park Ridge that I worked at. My name yeah. was uh, back when I, when I was a kid and owned it for a little bit. Move, Wait, moving on, what were you saying, Bill? No, I just had a really exciting announcement to make. Uh, if you guys are done talking about pizza... Why are you having a kid? You, do, you done? Dino? Yes. Rosario, Dino. you done? You yes. fucking done? All right. So I just heard this through the grapevine. Our friend, Sir Dino, is thinking about wearing more vests. Is that true, Ross? Yeah. Bulletproof? No. I don't. Well, let's talk. Well, I want to I wanna dig into this. Ross, what kind of vest do you want to wear? What 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 is inspiring this great change to your wardrobe? I love to, for better, at all better heads, a lot of better heads talk about these uh, better vests. You know, I'm seeing them around, go to concerts, you know, feels we wear them right now. Would you wear a shirt with the vest? Or just bare nipple pepperonis? I'm not picking up what you're saying. Mm. I well, this is a vest are. sewed on to sleeves. Right. Would, you, would you wear a vest with no shirt on? Uh, Underneath. You know, like you know, Aladdin. Like, like at a, yeah. Aladdin style. I don't have the guns like I used to. So what's there now? The boobs? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we're all human, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, go, you know, being thirty-two, I don't have the you know muscular physique like I used to. That's okay. <laughs> Neither do I. Truth be told, and Neither do I after my thirty White Castle days. <laughs> <laughs> right? I had one of them. They were great. I just want to say a very special hello to all of our fans out there in Ireland, across the pond. Yes. Uh, Phil was doing some research on our little podcast website, and apparently that's where the majority of our listeners are. Let's so do a toast. Uh, yep. Slancha. Top of that, even Diaz, Gladys. That, that yes. was perfect, Ross. That was, that, yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess let's just keep this ball rolling. Yeah. Phil. Oh, yeah. I, I was wondering, Ross, did you know the last episode, it was just you and me talking? A lot of people told me it was you and me talking, and it was because Bill was blown out of his mind. Out of my mind. magic cigarettes. Exactly right. You knew, Did you know that? I, I, I knew it was something special, but I Oh, didn't. pull the mic closer, sure. I knew it was something special, but I didn't think of it at the time. It was something special, all right. Yeah. What did you think it was? Like some cloves or uh, some super glue? I guess so. Okay. Well, I, I was wondering, because cause I was thinking about this. Do you guys think that shit, do you think weed specifically is habit-forming or addictive? Habit-forming. Yeah. 
Well, well, I, I, see, well, it's obvious, like, there's scientific proof for it. But, I mean, do, do you guys think that it's really that different? The, the drink it or smoke it a cigarette? Well, as far as affecting your life, it, 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 like, habit-forming or yes. addicting. I think people depend on it a lot. And, you know, it can, it can be like addiction, but but I don't think people are physically addicted. Like, they can be addicted to alcohol. Or yeah. I think it's very much is more a habit-forming thing. Mm-hmm. I know. I think anything has the capability to become addictive. I think it all depends on the person. Yeah, like you can rely on something. Like you can become addicted to your phone. You can become addicted to whatever convenience you have in your life. Maybe not chemically mm-hmm. addicted to it, but definitely physically. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of room uh, for that. I, I think we can do that and does that to a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, I, I see a lot of people, like you were saying, physically or chemically. I, th- I think mentally addictive now just means addictive because nobody gets the fuck out of their house. It's just all technology. Right. So so everybody, th- th- there's just a lot of people that I know who, uh, I'm not going to mention who, but there's just a lot of people who smoke weed. Is it Ross? No. No. No, no. no. no, I don't do that. There's just mm-hmm. where, where it's like, you know. What the fuck, man? You don't. What What do you do past that? That that that's your life, but you're not dependent on it. You just don't know how to get off of it. I mean, it's like video games, you know. Sure. It's I I don't know. Or television, or Netflix, or yeah. the internet, or anything. or White Castle Burgers, or, or, or White. Oh God, I love them so much. Well, yeah. it's all about moderation. I can admit, I, I like playing a lot of video games. Yeah. But I take about. So you think eating thirty White Castle Burgers once a year in one day? Is okay. Yes. I don't. I think you have to eat way more, way more frequently. I love White Castle. Okay. There, that's my stance. You got to realize how much crap you put in your system, you know. Unfortunately, you know, I have like my like shitload of health problems. And, you know, recently I, I've been having problems with my, you know, my blood pressure has been very high lately. So I think you should have more White Castle. That's just going to make it worse because it has a lot of salt to it. Well, you want to write a book about it, don't you? Uh, about White Castle? Yeah, about how you almost died, and because Phil told you to eat more White Castle. No, I don't. Think I, I want to be in there. I don't think I would do it. Have okay. you tried their fish nibblers? I have never had White Castle in my life. Never. Never. One of those few uh, West Up chains I've never had. So what? You think you're better than us? I don't think I'm better than anybody. <laughs> 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 fucked up, dude.